In the field of exercise and sports science, success looks like a physically active society. It can be through sport, it can be through physical activity, it can be through recreational physical activity, um, it can be through physical fitness and personal fitness as well. So for students in the exercise and sports science program, they're going to be exposed to a number of activities and courses that look at physical activity in different ways, whether it's looking at the social, psychosocial determinants of physical activity, whether it's looking at adaptive physical activity, which is physical activity adapted for individuals with disability, whether it's looking at rehabilitative physical activity. So exercise and sports science really looks at physical activity from a number of different ways. There are a number of courses that all students will take that will fulfill their exercise and sports science degree. And there are a number of core courses. And then later, some students may choose to do the pre-therapy and allied health track, or option, I should say. For students who are interested in the medical field, for students who are, who are interested in um, rehabilitation, whether it's athletic training, physical therapy, occupational therapy, for students who might want to be a physician's assistant or a medical doctor in one way or another. That might be a track um, that will help coordinate some of their courses and give them, again, some practical experiences that are really aimed towards some of those graduate level or higher level degrees after their undergraduate degree. You're also going to have an opportunity to have some practicum courses as well, so some hands-on experiences in one way or another within the exercise and sports science program. Students who finish their undergraduate degree in exercise and sports science will probably look at a number of different jobs. Some students might go into sport management, students might look at ergonomic principles within businesses, so health and wellness coaches. There are some students who may be program organizers or program directors. There are a lot of positions within Special Olympics, within Paralympic organizations, and again, uh, higher level organizations that really focus on individuals who have specific skills within that area. We have some students who might go into physical fitness facilities and be personal trainers or manage within those facilities as well in one way or another. After graduating with a degree in exercise and sports science, I plan to continue on to graduate school where I'll study physical therapy. My ultimate goal is to become a physical therapist so I can work with people of all ages and help them recover from injuries. In exercise and sports science, a number of the undergraduates, especially those uh, interested in the pre-therapy and allied health fields, are really interested in what, what is the pre-therapy and allied health club. And that particular club is run specifically by exercise and sports science students. We've had students in the past who have done a study abroad term, and they've been able to really learn something about what's happening in a different country and bring their skills to that country and their experiences to that country, and then also have those experiences with them when they come back. As an undergraduate, I chose to get involved in various campus activities that helped me grow as a student. I'm a member of the college's undergraduate student council that works to help students build better connections with professors both inside and outside the classroom. I'm also a member of the pre-therapy and allied health club in the college, which focuses on exposing students to different influences in our field of study. What I really like about the club is that members give back to the community through charity work and organizing events such as the annual Wheel-a-thon that creates disability awareness and money for the multiple sclerosis exercise program and physical activity program for children with disabilities called IMPACT. Within the exercise and sports science program, we have a number of hands-on programs. We have a program called IMPACT for children with disabilities, and it occurs on Friday nights, and this program is really based on physical activities for more than 90 children who come on Friday nights to the women's building. Undergraduate students will have the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with these students, uh, and they'll work on physical activity goals, some of them in the gym and then some of them in the pool. We also have an Impact for Life program where undergraduate students will have a chance to work one-on-one -on -one with an adult with a disability within the community. Some of those physical fitness-based goals um, can be completed at Dixon, which is the recreation center on campus, and others will happen at other uh, community-based fitness facilities in the Corvallis and surrounding area. In addition, we also have a multiple sclerosis exercise clinic and undergraduate students have an opportunity to participate in that program if that's something that they're interested in as well. I would encourage students to contact faculty and to learn more about the classes that they're taking or the research that faculty are doing within their labs. And if those opportunities present themselves, see what research opportunities you might be able to get involved in. Um, there are going to be so many experiences and opportunities and it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of people that want this to be successful, your faculty, your peers, and other students throughout the university. So enjoy it.